Now a comic strip is going to need panels and in most programs you can create panels by using the line tool or even the rectangular marquee tool. Manga Studio, since it's software geared towards creating comics, comes with a set of tools for creating panels, which I'm going to show you now. So I have here my rough sketch for a comic strip, including my, my panel lines that I've drawn using the line tool. Now if I go to ruler and create a panel layer, what this does is give me a bounding box based on preset dimensions for my comic page template. From here, I can select my panel cutter tool, and what this will let me do is actually draw or cut my gutters into this bounding box. And you can go in and tweak all of your preferences for this tool, including the width of the gutters and the thickness of the panel outlines. Cutting a panel is uh, as simple as using the line tool, and you can cut it just about any angle you'd like. Once your panels are cut, you can manually drag and adjust the individual panel boxes if you want to get creative with some of your layouts. Once you're happy with your panels, you can rasterize the panel ruler layer. This will actually give you a panel mask layer. And what that does is when placed over your artwork layers, will allow you to draw on the inside of your panels only. You can see here that if I draw a line, it's only showing up inside the panels. And that's because I have this panel ruler mask layer uh, on top of that. As with most things, the tool can only take you so far, and that if you want to get really funky with your panel layouts, you're still going to have to do some stuff manually. Here I've created a panel mask layer from just the initial bounding box, which only masks the outside edges. And then in order to do an, an interior floating panel, I will actually use the rectangular marquee tool with an outline at a 0.3 millimeter thickness. Since this floating panel is not a masked panel, any overage lines on my artwork layer will need to be manually removed at the panel border. Using a combination of Manga Studio's panel tools and some manually drawn panels, you can achieve a variety of different interesting layouts for your comic strips.